Do you want to learn how to use a capture card with OBS Studio? Well, lucky for you, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I use the Elgato HD60S, the S Plus, and basically any kind of capture card you got. And I'm going to teach you how to use it with OBS Studio so you can get streaming in no time. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a like on the video to help other streamers find this video. And comment down below, Spooky Gang, to make sure you're part of the family. But if you guys are streaming on OBS Studio, you need to check out OwnPro. OwnPro is actually this really useful OBS Studio plugin that makes streaming on OBS Studio much better it's basically a subscription that allows you access to so many different overlays and alerts to be able to use on your stream this is what the dashboard looks like so once you're logged in you can see all of your different analytics but what I'm most interested in is if we go to this left hand side here we can click on all overlays and then you're allowed to actually go through and pick and download whichever ones you want so if we just go and click on wasteland we can click on wasteland and it'll give us a preview of what this pack includes so you have four different webcam overlays to choose from they also got the little different alert or labels underneath the webcams but you can also see they got the starting soon screen a pause intermission screen all that good stuff and then all you would have to do is just click this little install button you'd be good to go so thank you OwnPro for sponsoring today's video I appreciate you guys some of you guys might notice that the webcam quality looks a little bit better and that's because I upgraded the Logitech Brio so if you guys want a Logitech Brio link is in the description down below as well would highly recommend it so in order to get started with streaming with the capture card and connecting it to OBS studio let me just break out this little graph for you to make things easier so this is an easy little graph on how we're going to connect everything. For this video, I'm going to be using an Xbox 360, but you can use any console that has HDMI. But if you want to stream a console with AV cords, the component cables, the red, yellow, and white cables, then you're going to need a little adapter, which I'll also leave in the description down below. Or you can watch a video in the top right corner where I explain exactly how to set that up. But if you're using a regular console like a PS4 or a PS5 or anything that uses HDMI, then let's continue. So first, what you want to do is make sure you get an HDMI cable, plug that into your console that you want to stream once you plug that in you're gonna to want to plug that in to the HDMI in port the HDMI in port of the HD 60 S S plus or whatever capture card you're using so remember HDMI cable goes in your console and goes into the HDMI in of the capture card the next thing you need to know is that with this capture card specifically there's a mini USB cable which goes in to the capture card and then the USB cable goes into your PC or laptop. However, with this model, since it features instant game view, you need a USB 3.0 port, which are usually signified by having a blue little color to the USB port. So make sure if you're using this capture card that you're using a USB 3.0 port, otherwise you're gonna run into some problems. So now that we have the HDMI cable plugged in for the console to the capture card, we got the mini USB to the USB. By the way, the USB cable is actually where the video footage is gonna be sent. So that's how your console footage is going to be getting picked up it gets picked up through the HDMI cable and then goes through the mini USB cable to your computer and that's where the video footage is so the last cable is gonna be the cable that you connect to another monitor or your TV or whatever you decide to play this on so you take an HDMI cable plug it into the HDMI out of the capture card and then you'll plug that into the TV, computer monitor, or whatever you wanna play your game on. So once you have these three cables all hooked up, let's move on to the next step. If you don't have OBS Studio already downloaded and installed, you can go to obsproject.com and then click Windows if you have Windows, Mac if you have Mac, or Linux if you're running Linux if you're one of those kind of nerds. But I'll also leave this linked in the description down below so you can check that out if you can't find the website. So once you have it downloaded and installed and open it, it should look something like this. Now what we need to do is go over to our source list right here because this is where we're gonna be adding everything on the screen. We'll go to the source list, we'll click this little plus button from here we'll click on video capture device because that's what our capture card is called. From here, we can rename it to the name of our capture card. So I'm gonna rename it to Elgato capture card. If I could type, I'll click okay. From here, the device will automatically lock on to whatever we have. So in this case, it actually picked it up first time, but sometimes it'll pick up something else like my webcam. So I'm gonna go to game capture HD 60 S because that's what it is. However, we never turned on our console. So let's turn on our Xbox 360. I just powered it on, so there we go. You can now see that the device is picking up our Xbox 360 console footage. So now once you have that all set up, just click OK. And now you can see that our capture card is capturing our console. So if you wanted to add your webcam over this gameplay, all you have to do is go back to Sources, Add Plus, then go to Video Capture Device, and then we can type in Webcam or whatever you're gonna know it's called. And then from here, we'll click on Device, 
we'll find our webcam so in this instance i'm going to be using a second webcam that i have the c920 which i'll also leave linked in the description down below and so we'll select that you can see i'm right here it's kind of meta right looking at my screen looking at me how's it going so this is our little webcam i'll just hold that here hopefully i don't have any boogers or anything in my nose but let's just drag this to whatever corner we want to have it in i hope you guys like my kingdom hearts majora's mask zelda posters all that good stuff but you can just realign your webcam like so you can put it wherever you want sorry this is like all on the fly but yeah so now we have our webcam and then we have our capture card and so if you wanted to have your mic set up as well you can go into settings and then from here you could click on audio and then you could go to your desktop audio make sure that your capture card audio is getting picked up and then also go to your mic and then you can click on this drop down and add your mic there so if we click ok You'll notice that since we did add our capture card, we now have a volume capture card right here. So you can notice that it's actually really, really loud. Like this is max volume for the capture card. Like if I started playing Halo, the game would be so loud. So make sure to drag down your volume. Otherwise, you're probably going to blow your listeners ears out. So just so you know, this is where you control your game volume through your capture card, because this is a new little audio mixer bar that's going to allow you to change the volume for the capture card and the game volume in there. And then the desktop audio is just gonna be whatever you're streaming through your computer. So if you're playing like Spotify through your computer, it'll get picked up through your desktop audio. And then you can see that our mic is successfully connected because you can see the bar going up while I'm talking. And then sometimes your webcam has a microphone, but honestly, I would never use that. So just make sure that's disabled. Otherwise you might get some weird echo or whatever. But then once you're all good to go, then you can go to settings, you can go to stream, make sure that your Twitch is connected. You can go in and connect your account. Mine's already connected. Make sure that you have all of the right streaming settings. I'll leave a video in the top right corner of all the OBS studio recording settings, streaming settings, all that jazz. I got a bunch of videos on that. So I'll just leave that video in the top right corner for you to check out. Make sure that you're not getting any lag, latency, frame drops, any of that deal. So you get a nice smooth stream. So we'll click OK. And then all we have to do is click start streaming this button right there below me and then we'll be live on twitch stream in our console or you can click start recording and then you can record videos for youtube while you're playing your game on your console so on and so forth